Over the past two years, the climate tech sector has accelerated dramatically. One of my predictions for 2023 is the emergence of water technology. My big technology prediction for 2023 is it will be the year of the heat pump. I'm excited to see the story continue to play through at an even higher degree over the next decade. Water is so important to everything that we do and there's a huge relationship between water and energy as well. Water restrictions come into effect for millions of Californians shortly as the west coast of America continues to experience a crippling drought that many predict will get even worse during the summer. But one of the reasons I think this is going to come to the forefront of everyone's minds is that when there's no water, it's an immediate problem with the massive droughts that we're seeing. And so I think you're going to see a lot of new policies around water use, um, water distribution, new reservoir projects possibly popping up in states like California, and also a proliferation of water technology in energy generation and filtration. We saw in Europe with the Ukraine war that the importance of heat pumps has bumped right up to the top of the general political environment but it takes a long time to manufacture and scale up all of the supply chains to make these things happen. 2023 is going to be the year when we see the world flip over to heat pumps at a much faster rate than anybody has ever expected. I think I'm excited to finally see the next generation of electric cars and storage coming out. Tesla did a tremendous job bringing it to where we are now. There are now the next generation batteries that will be more costly, more efficient and seeing that starting to dominate the automotive world in the United States and Europe will be truly fascinating to watch. I think that companies will have to do a bit more with less. Companies like Tesla, they're showing consumers that you can have a great car and you don't need to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for it. And so I think that for standouts in this space, we're looking for companies with tech differentiation, companies who can lower their costs while having vertical integration, or just overall companies with a better value proposition to their end users. Look at Volvo cars around their next generation car, the EX90, that is now going to just apply cameras, but LiDARs, and will truly take self-driving to the next level combined with a battery. It's really a different generation of a car. If this really catches on, we are in, in a different world and hopefully you know, the likes of Volvo uh, will be leading the charge. Climate tech is an enduring and necessary theme in the US. And I am personally excited that we are partnering with innovative technology that delivers carbon reduction at higher levels of scale and efficiency than even existing incumbents. And I am hopeful that we have the right partners across the real estate sector that share our conviction and can bring climate tech into people's homes, into the spaces that we live, breathe, and work in.